So EA have given Nuno Mendes a foot birthday card and it has to be said the card looks pretty sweet and definitely looks like he will be one of the best left backs within Ultimate Team and in this video when I eventually get one we are going to try this guy out and see how he plays in game. Now interestingly I have Winter Wildcards Delane who prior to this card being released I would have said is 100% the best uh, left back in the game other than Team Dia Cancela. So it's going to be interesting to compare this Nuno Mendes to that Winter Wildcards Delane. If you need some coins to improve your ultimate team, the cheapest place to get them is at IG Vault and there is a link in the description. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself an even bigger discount off your order. As you can see, my wildcards Delane does have quite a few matches on him, nearly 200 games. And like I've already said, I think he is absolutely terrific. He's got the five-star weak foot, he's got pace to burn, he's got very good defending and the physical stats, and even his dribbling is really, really nice. Like I've said, so far, this guy is my favourite left-back in FIFA 22. But could he now be replaced with this brand new Nuno Mendes, who obviously is a very premium looking card um, in the same league and also comes with some premium links to them PSG players. Okay, so this is the side we are going to be using him in. I get the feeling you're going to see a lot of this link with this Nuno Mendes. He'll either be linking into like a flashback Neymar in weekend league or it'll be a 4 3 3. He'll be linking into a centre mid Mbappe and then there'll be a left wing Neymar at some point point in the game or a Ginola of course but yeah this is a link you're just gonna see a lot of anyway let's look at this card shall we five star skills um nice but not necessarily needed on a left back I guess but still nice to have four star weak foot also pretty pleasing left footed on the left side in regards to in-game stats um near perfect sprint speed of 98 um, and in regards to his shooting he's actually got some pretty insane shot power are we going to get a chance to test that probably not but if opportunity does arise we will take a shot with him passing looks really really good for a fullback to be fair with the 90 crossing rating and the 87 shot passing and the dribbling that also looks really pleasing. High agility of 94, 94, 94, sorry, and a pretty good ball control for a defender of 85. And it's more the same for the defensive stats. High interceptions of 90, high stand tackle of 91, and a pretty good defensive awareness also of 88. And the physicals, still, once again, very, very nice. High stamina, good strength and aggression combination, and to be fair, not bad jumping either. But um, I still wouldn't favour him too much in aerial battle. I feel like the chem style for this guy is pretty obvious, but nonetheless, with a basic chem style, he's a 92 rated left back. With a Sentinel, 93. With an Anker, 93. And with a Shadow he's actually a 94 now although he does look insane with shadow i think overall anchor makes him the better fullback obviously um narrows his pace split and he's almost 99 pace as well makes his defensive stats very nice and also makes his physicals pretty insane as well like that plus 10 in strength for the anchor is just so so useful so that's the chem style we're going to use all right, let's get this card tested then, and it's going to get tested in this game because the opposition has an insane team. I don't know if he's just got a lot of coins or he just loves the icon packs, but it's a great team nonetheless. First interaction for Nuno Mendes is going to be tracking down a Ben Yedder and winning the ball. Ball's whipped in. Chance for Varane, who, oh, should have scored that. Good save. Coming down this edge again, Garincha is going to try and get him behind and he's actually showing some good pace but Nuno Mendes does well to keep up with him and eventually takes the ball off him. Nice, good pressure there from Nuno Mendes. We do concede the corner but better than conceding the shot. There we go, Nuno versus Garincha again doing well to keep pace and eventually just steals it off him once more. Well, unfortunately, 1-0 down at the break. Um, I say unfortunate, it definitely should be level, but I just have not been clinical enough in this game. And ultimately, so far, that is what's costing me. So I need a better second 45, but um, we're in this game. That's all that matters. Yeah, I stuck with him. Eventually got the block. Unfortunate with the bounce. Skip it. Oh, wow, he's done really well to keep that in. Right foot ball into the box isn't a bad one either. Produces a chance. That we do not take because Mendy makes a save. Is worth noting we've now just gone under constant pressure. So if you see people shooting out of line, that is why. Got to go for it. There's Nuno Mendes. Gets around the side. We're going to go for the early ball into... Oh, Mbappe. Okay, well, we're going to extra time. But it has to be said, our team is exhausted. Uh, I don't know what's happening there. But eventually we win the ball. Sancho going to try and get down the wing, just categorically denied by the Portuguese fullback. 
Tries to break now. Samuel Mendes gets down the wing, does well to keep possession. And the ball is fortunately bounced for us, very fortunately. Yes, there we go. Win on penalties, I'd love to see it. We did not deserve to lose that game. And uh, justice has been done. Happy days. How was Nuno Mendes on debut? Pretty solid, to be honest. Obviously had a pretty tough ask coming up against, you know, a prime Maradona and um, also, is it prime Grincha? Or was it the mid-versions? I can't remember. I don't care. Um, good performance. Happy. No messing about then. We have another opponent lined up and it's a ridiculous team. Look at that. Jeez. <laughs> we could be in trouble here. Challenge there had to be right. Okay, 2 0 down at the break, and I've got no complaints. Deservedly so. My opponent is pretty damn good. We haven't seen too much of the ball. We actually have had a good chance, but I just didn't take it sadly. And that ultimately is the big difference between the two players. He's just so much more clinical in front of goal. The first goal he scored, I feel like should have been blocked, but it is what it is. I've got no complaints about being behind. And just like that, it's 2 2. Turn. What a ball. Whoa! I mean, it's just not going to be our day. It's really not going to be our day. But what a great ball that was from Nuno Mendes. And there's full time. You know what the sad part is? We put in, a, like, you know what that game was? It was like a massive underdog putting in, like, a big performance against, you know, obviously a massive favourite and just coming up short. Uh, the difference, look at that, as if no one got a block. The difference between the two sides was just like, his, his finishing was just so much better, but like we created enough chances. We, we could have had a better game, but the ball just didn't really fall for us, and it, it, it is what it is. Anyway, Nuno Mendes, what did we make of his performance? Pretty good, to be fair. He was really, really solid for the most part and just did his job. Um, not a fault for any of the goals, and as you can see, um, tackled well with that 100% tackle success rate. All right then, a few games out the way with the Portuguese fullback. What are my thoughts on this item? It's a really, really good left back card, like premium. You're not going to get much better than this all year long, to be honest. Like, there's nothing wrong with this card. He obviously has the very good pace. He's got good physicals. He's defensively, he's very, very good. And in the tackle, he feels really, really solid as well. And then when going forward, he feels nice on the ball. And he's also got a really good passing game as well. Like, as I say, even when, like, team of the season comes around, you're not going to get a much better card than this. Will you get more well-rounded ones? Sure. But, like, just in terms of just playing the left-back role to a good standard, you're honestly not going to get much better in this. Yeah, he is you know, absolutely top class, and 500k, like, in this year's game probably is a lot, but I, I don't think it's a terrible price for him at all, and if he does come down in price, um, I do actually think he'll be very, very good value. So, as much as I love that Winter Wildcards delay, and we'll do comparisons a bit later on, um, if I had the choice between the two, I would pick this card over him. Does that mean he's better value for money? Maybe not, but we'll discuss that later on in the video. Anyway, what did we like about the card? Um, obviously, the pace, that felt pretty good for most part and um, I also thought his passing was class for a defender just so so good could you use this guy as a midfielder yeah you probably could to be honest I don't think you're gonna get the most out of him there but he definitely could do a job there and um, as a DM or something that'd be quite nice but um yeah passing felt really really good dribbling also up to a very good standard as well definitely has the ability to get down the wing which is great and then defensively I just thought he was solid like, there's a lot of, like, left-backs in this game, a lot of, like, defenders in general in this game, where you'll go in to make the challenge, and they'll make that initial challenge, they'll knock the ball away, but they won't, like, you know, complete the tackle. This guy does. I thought his stand tackle ability was really, really good, and that was one of the more pleasing things about this card. And the same can be said about the physicals. They were just really, really nice in-game. You saw constantly in the clips, this guy not just having the pace to knock people off, the, uh, the pace, sorry, to beat people to the ball, but also the strength as well, just knocking them off, so... Yeah, as a defender, top, top draw. All right then, time for some comparisons. Um, I've already told you he is better than Delane. Is he worth times two the price, times three the price? Probably not, but um, if you got this much coins to spend on a fullback, then, you know, go for it. Um, the difference between the two, like, defensively, I do think they're pretty similar, but um, going forward, this Mendes is just so, so much better. Um, so there is that. And then there is, obviously, one more comparison to do. It is this item versus Team of the Year Cancelo. And they're actually, like, Cancelo's better. Like, there's not, not much doubt about that. But 
not massively, I don't feel. Like, obviously, this guy, in, like, the grand scheme of things, as, like, an overall player to play anywhere, is much better. But as a left-back, I don't think the difference is really that big, if I'm being honest. So... Yeah, there is that. If you're running with a league on team, though, it's a no-brainer if you can afford it to get this guy because he is, you know, the best one available. And, yeah, he was good. He delivered. This card, I felt I was going to go either one or two ways. It was either going to be absolutely brilliant or it was going to be a big letdown. And for me, at least, I, I thought it was class. I really, really do. And he fits both play styles, too. Like, if you like a defensive fullback, he can do a really, really good job in that role because, as I say, like, tackling-wise, he's class. And if you like... An offensive fullback, he's got good pace, he gets into good areas, and his passing ability is also really nice. So, yeah, he ticks, you know, all the boxes. Premium left back right here. Well, guys, those are my thoughts on the foot birthday Nuno Mendes. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like rating on it. Any questions, pop them down below. Also, let me know who I should review next. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you 